like my hair is really crazy um but i actually got my eyelashes done yesterday i got like a tint and um a lift it's called an eyelash lift um i got an eyelash lift and then i got a little bit of tint um look okay i mean i can't really tell on camera but they look pretty cute and then i also got my nails done i actually am not used to acrylic so these are kind of taking me a little while to get used to that but i really like this color and i decided to go bold for the trip and i also got a bikini wax and i was that was quite an experience because i've never gotten a bikini wax it was it was it was tough <laughs> um but anyway i'm at okay i'm like really excited and i'm ready and yes Let's go. So I'm up. My mom made me get up. It's 5.40. Our flight leaves at 10 in the morning. Um, so five hours from now. But, you know, Mexican parents just want to get to the airport fast. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Cuarentena. I really liked our hotel room because it had one king bed and a full bed and it was just great for us three and it had it was just really spacious and had um you know just overall it was really nice I was mostly sleeping here in the full bed um, and my sister slept together in the king bed because I sure. think that they were low-key scared to sleep next to the door near the ocean and honestly I think this is why my my nail broke because of this freaking door lock and look at this view. how gorgeous is it Oh my goodness, please, let's take a moment to talk about the food. Our stay was all-inclusive, which means that it included food and drinks. And we were going to this buffet downstairs, and the food was so great because they had a lot, a lot of variety. Look, they even had, like, cheese, dry meats. I thought that was a nice touch. This one was specifically for breakfast on our day two. I ended up getting an omelet with some French toast and potatoes and some churritos as well and coffee.
we saw this a local vendor that was selling handmade art <laughs> i want to call it art because look how beautiful this is and how much patience and just dedication this takes this was taken right outside our hotel this is the view i absolutely loved it the only thing i didn't like was that we couldn't get into the ocean because i believe they closed it off because the tides were really rough there i don't honestly i don't really think it's ever open i'm not sure oh my god look this is tres leches and this is passion fruit i don't even know passion fruit pudding oh this just looks amazing and of course i have my okay <laughs> In a few minutes, we're going to see a, 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 a Catholic church. Una iglesia católica. Eh, la mayoría de personas, mayoría son católicas. Una iglesia católica. La mayoría de personas mayas son católicas. Abrazó el catolicismo. Most of the Mayan people aren't Catholics. Pero qué crees, guess what? No se olvidaron de sus viejos dioses. They never forgot about their old gods. Te voy a preguntar algo. ¿Qué representa una serpiente para el catolicismo? What does a snake represent for Catholicism? Pecado. Todo lo que es malo, ¿verdad? Everything that is wrong. ¿Te imaginas serpiente? There was a lot, a lot of people selling stuff, souvenirs. In Chichen Itza, and I really wanted to buy stuff, but we they told us to hold off till the very end where we would find a lot more souvenirs. One of the stops that we did during our trip was at this Mayan Pueblo where we had the opportunity of eating Mayan food and Mayan cuisine and they explained to us the difference between fake obsidian and real obsidian and it was actually very cool having this little lesson because um i've definitely bought some obsidian at the crystal store and um they are not a real obsidian um so that was good to note <laughs> Esa es la obsidiana. Pero parte de las creencias del Maya es We also visited a city in Yucatan, Valladolid, where supposedly according to the guide, it is the second oldest Catholic church in Mexico. We also had the opportunity of snorkeling in the Caribbean Sea and yo, I almost died. I, The waves were really strong and my both of my flippers fell and I had my, I was trying to record. So right now there's like a bunch of people on like the golf cart, like a bunch. It is highly, highly populated right now. It's, I don't know how I feel about it right now in this section. It's like very, uh, it's, there's just a lot of people, a lot of pollution right now. It doesn't look that pretty uh, because it's so congested, but 
you know, I mean, it's Isla Mujeres, so what do you expect? Wait, what do you want to do? This is the first time I This is the view from our room, and I'm just drinking some coffee here with my sisters. It's a little weird. <laughs> You're gonna be in the vlog like that. Ooh, hey, bro, watch it. Bro. <laughs> Looks like Is that right? <laughs> Cancun is famous with cenotes, which is basically a sinkhole pool, a cave pool, and we had the opportunity to go. This is a subterranean pool that basically in Escaret, where this is a park here in um, Cancun, where you start from the, from the beginning of the park and you have to swim your way across to the end of the park, which eventually leads to the pool, uh, to the ocean. It was the most amazing experience ever and I absolutely loved this. It took about 40 five minutes to an hour to get to the other side of the park and swim this whole thing but it was worth it It's really pretty. So pretty. What you got? Wow. That looks delicious. Right now we are in Escaret and so far this is this is the end of the uh, park. It's so lovely. Uh, water is so pretty and it's just like this here you can like rest and stuff. Uh, you have like the hammocks. It looks beautiful here. And then we ate right there. That was amazing. Uh, food was amazing for a buffet style. Amazing. Loved it. Escaret is such a huge park that there's so many activities that you can do while you're here. One of the activities that you can do while you're here is exploring a pre-colonial and post-colonial building, Mayan buildings that still remain here in the park. And it was 
really nice to see um, how some of these locations are still preserved. Wow, so this is a cemetery. Wow, this is beautiful. I don't know where this is. What? Pero. Aquí estoy. Voy para abajo allá. Ay, wey, me caigo. Y ya. It's so interesting. Ah, un taller. In un cave. I don't know. I want to go. Huh? Está cerrado. I don't know. But I walked. And there's nobody there. Kind of spooky, TBH. It was a, this is like an old prehistoric Mayan pueblo. And oh, there's the cemetery. Let's go here. Wow. This is a mass here. Do they? On Sunday. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that view. You can't see that on camera. Wow. Wow. Go. <laughs> oh my god, this me <laughs> caigo. Wow. It's beautiful. I'm scared. Is that water? Ah! How deep is that? At the end of the day, the park holds this amazing show that shows over time how things were. So it went from pre colonial Mayans to when the Spaniards came and so on and so forth. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful show that they had put on.